The next big feature coming to texting apps is talking. I'm Bridget Carey. This is your CNET Update. Using your smartphone to call people is such a wild concept that these days adding a calling feature to an app becomes newsworthy. Facebook's Messenger chat app has just added group calling. So you can make a call over an internet connection to multiple people and we're not just talking about a few friends. You can call up to 50 friends at once. Calling 50 people would be so chaotic, so maddening that it's almost beautiful. Over the next day, it should be available for all iPhone and Android users. This makes Facebook Messenger more like Google Hangouts and Skype, but Messenger has 900 million monthly users, and that's three times larger than Skype. Facebook also lets you chat with way more people at once in a group call. The free limit on Hangouts is 10 people, and the limit on Skype is 25. Meanwhile, PlayStation is adding a feature that it should have had years ago, two-factor authentication for password security. Sony said it's preparing to offer this extra step of verification for those logging into the PlayStation Network, but no word on when it's coming just yet. It's actually pretty embarrassing for Sony to not yet have this security option. You've used it before whenever a website asks you to enter in a number code that was texted to you right after you log in from a new machine. Well, Xbox Live users have had it since 2013. Sony security has been breached numerous times already. Don't forget, five years ago, PlayStation Network was hacked, compromising more than 70 million accounts. Yet this basic security feature still has yet to arrive. But that's not all that's tragic in the gaming world, my friends. The Xbox 360 has finally reached the proverbial red ring of death. Microsoft announced it will stop making the console after a decade of production, but for those of you still keeping that baby alive at home, Microsoft will continue to keep Xbox Live services available. And if you want to comfort yourself in a warm blanket of gamer nostalgia, Sega is launching a hub on Steam for its 1990s Genesis games. Steam is an online marketplace for downloading games, and on April 28th, Sega's classics will be available to play for free, accessible through this 1990s kids' bedroom. You just have to purchase one of 50 old titles, such as Golden Axe, Alex Kidd, Altered Beast, Echo the Dolphin, that one was kind of tough, and then there's Flicky and Streets of Rage and Kid Chameleon to Cap Attack, where your head flies off to kill the baddies, and, you know, Old games work kind of weird sometimes, but it won't be totally the same because you can save at any point during gameplay, and that's practically cheating. But there is one unique twist. Sega is also going to let people legally modify these Genesis games and share the changes they make with others. That's all for this Tech News Roundup. You can head to CNET.com for more. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey. Check it out!